just the uh, perfect day, the sunny day with the sunny car. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That works. Just wonderful. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we've got a great Ford for you to enjoy. And if you like Fords, you're going to like this one. Dennis Roxworthy. Dennis, what did you bring today? I brought a 1966 Fairlane 500 GTA convertible. And the engine on this one? It's a 390. Horsepower? 335 horse. Nice. <laughs> Let's take a look right off the bat at our featured attraction. So if we take a look right here, the convertible looks great. What's the color on this one? This is springtime yellow. And it looks great in the sun on this one. Let's get a little closer to it. Now the GTA, the A stood for, correct me if I'm wrong, automatic. Correct. And that was one of the features. Now it says Fairlane, but I don't see 500. Well, they're, they're all Fairlane. They're all Fairlane 500. They're all Fairlane yeah, 500. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'll take a look at the trunk on this one with the treats. So here's the trunk and treat on this car. And for those of you who like the trunk and treats, there's the boot for the convertible. Boy, do we have some great stuff here. I'll start with the total performance accessories for 66. And these are, well, the brochures. So you can see the wheel covers. There's our fair lane. The Mustang. The Falcon Ranchero. Some floor mat options. And I'll try to go slow enough so you can enjoy these. From a vinyl mat. The body side molding. The license plate plaque. The right views just fine. Bumper guards. Fuel door edge guards. License plate frames. Door guards. And you don't get to see that this often. So I'm going to take my time. The Ford air conditioner, and there's the codes, the vent shade, the Mustang rear seat ashtray, the heater, speed control, power brakes, power steering, some of the different mirrors. Remote control mirror. The glare. Parking light warning. Trunk light. Turn light indicator. There's the compass. The never or rarely used luggage rack. The vinyl roof. Electric clock. Adjustable clothes rod. Auto vacuum. Radiator bug screen. Auxiliary airbags for your car. Litter basket. Tissue dispenser. Remote control trunk release. AM radio. AM FM radio. 
tells you what the prices are. Surprisingly, it's little different prices for the Thunderbird. Ford Stereotronic Tape System. There it is. Rear dual antennas. Studio Sonic Sound System. Two-way radios. Accessories for the wagon. A luggage rack, actually probably used back in that time. The home and travel pad. Mud and stone deflector. Luggage rack zipper bag. Ford auxiliary springs. Rear window screen for the dog. Rear window deflector. Passenger protection. Maybe the first child seat. I don't think I ever saw one back in the day, actually, but... Tool kit, reflector fare, flares, two-way walkie-talkie. Snow grip. Fire extinguisher, dual horns. Vinyl top. AM radio, hitch, locking front axles, right hand mirror, and you can see all of this map light, front bumper guards, front wench and it goes through the trucks and their accessories as well so I'll kind of flip through this a little more quickly your horns rear step bumpers for your truck and your custom auto polishes, your index, your high performance equipment for Cobra kits. Nice. 6,000 mile oil filters at that time. So that was pretty cool. I want to show you this. This is neat. This was a motor trend issue. Okay, back in March of 66, here was the cover, and inside the brochure, how to cook a tiger, taking on the GTO directly, and it shows the Fairlane GTA. Take one part, 335 horsepower V8 chrome bladed rocker covers, oil filter. <laughs> I'll let you read that. So those two are done. Here actually, as you can see, that's the cover of the 66 brochure, but check this out. This is something you don't see every day. It's a postcard from the time period. There's the GTA, and there's the Fairlane. That's pretty cool. This over here is the Buyer's Digest of the new car facts for 66 and it goes through the different cars. Now although I'd like to go through all of them, I'm going to go right to our Fairlane GT and GTA to give you the details. So we'll just focus on that for a moment. So you can read that. We'll focus on that. Look at the, the bullseyes in the background on that shot. This talks about the standard equipment, basic specifications, Fairlane GT transmissions. There's your transmission that we've seen. 
trying to steady that camera a little bit. And here's the details to this one. Thought you'd enjoy that. And you can see it goes to the Fairlane safety first, the stopping power, etc. Some of the stuff you've seen from the others. There's the XL500, etc. And the 7 liter, which is pretty cool too. Here's some of the details. Standard equipment of that one. Thought you might like that. The wood wheel. Okay. There's your quadrasonic stereo tape. The Bronco for all seasons. Today's American Roads. Okay, so that was pretty cool. There, there's your brochure that looks just like that. So let's go through this brochure, which is, there's the GT. As a general rule, keep the twins inside the car. Although mom is gently watching them, I'll say that. There's five series, 13 models. There's our hip. By the way, that picture there is that postcard up there. The GT and the GTA. I'll just go through that slow enough where you can read it. You can pause that if you like. Should give you some details there. A convertible top on the Fairlane 500 XL. Getting ready for the family event. Again, the child outside the car. Keep them inside the car, generally, when you're taking a trip. There we go. Shows how she snaps down the Fairlane 500. Standard equipment on that one. And look, there's a gift. The standard equipment on the Fairlane 500. Your Fairlane, your wagon. The two ways the doors come down and out. That's a cool thing. Instrumentation. Not sure why this spinny picture there, but it's kind of been the theme. You're different. Package is there. And design your Fairlane to reflect and choose the whole options list. There's your power trains, power teams they call it. Twice a year maintenance. Fairly worth 
the features. Even that and that. The proper trim here completes our trunk and treats. Oh, wait. I saw that. Very well on that one. Back to the car. And we're back. Alright, so come on alongside me. We'll take a look at the side of this. That is a profile. How long you had this one, Dennis? I've had it approximately about 12 years. And uh, I know you're a Ford guy. You were actually going to be featuring some of your other cars that are not Fords on the channel because, well, they're fantastic. But what makes you connected to this car? Well, in 1966, my late wife and I ordered a brand new Fairlane 500 two-door hardtop. We couldn't afford the GT. This was $1,000 more over the car we ordered. So we settled for one with a bench seat. It was a great car. I still own it. Original paint and everything on it. But when I found this one, uh, 12 years ago approximately, I went and looked at it and I bought it right on the spot. Yeah, this one's easy to buy on the spot. Yeah. It's a nut and bolt rotisserie restoration on one owner car. It was never rusted, it was just a used car. And they did a concourse restoration on it. It's so, so well done, isn't it? It is. Oh, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. And let me feature the interior, the all-important GTA badge. And since we have the sun on the interior... Now, Dennis, you and I met at the World of Wheels. Correct. And it was actually almost a fluke because I was getting ready to leave, and I looked at your car, a 62 Galaxy 500 convertible 406 four-speed, and couldn't help myself, and that's how we met. Correct. <laughs> I said, we got a video of this, and you're like, who's this guy who's running at me with a camera? <laughs> and uh, and uh, it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I think we just pulled it out of the trailer, didn't we? Yeah, you yeah. just pulled it out of the trailer, and we videoed that one. So people can check that out on the channel. 62 Ford Galaxy 500 XL, XL convertible. And let me just share just a second here the buckets. Well, you're greeted by the product of Ford. Now we know the GTA is a automatic. This is for the power top? Uh, the power top's to the left, that button right here, Luke. These are the windshield washers, this is the power top. That's the power top, right. okay, so that was right. This car's got every option you could put on a Fairlane back in 66. Is that right? Yeah, full power. It's a great little instrument right there, right? How it kind of mm -hmm. leans out at you. Right. The wood. Yeah, when this Fairlane came out in 66, we just fell in love with it. Such a great body style. Now they're really getting sought after today. Such a clean dash. Mm -hmm. I like how they put that Fairlane GT right there. Mm -hmm. Just all the right little touches. The colors, red, 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 green for drive. So well done. The starting instructions there. Really, really, really nice. Did it have the uh, tag on the door? It did. That is correct. That's great stuff. Let's uh, take a look under the hood. All right, so we're at the front, and I wanted to give you that look. Because as your grandkids say, it looks like a rocket taken off. And I just want to show from this angle, you can see that line in the body side it has mm -hmm. a slight upswoop, which gives it kind of a front-end liftoff look. 
You're talking about the lower body crease? No, I'm talking about the one right by the top headlight. Oh, yeah. This oh, crease okay. right here. Right. The top one takes it all the way up. And the beautiful 390 faux inserts there. And the all-important GT right there. What's the... Uh, okay, that's an AACA automobile. AACA is one of the oldest automobile clubs in America. Uh-huh. And they, they, uh, they're very strict in judging. I had this car judged in 2012 at an AACA meet, and it won its first junior. Then it goes on to win a senior, and then a grand national. Wow. So it has to go through several steps. And the judges are flown in. Yeah, the, yeah, they're flown in from all over the country. So wow. They, there's no let's open the Let's open the hood, yeah. shall we? Yeah, it's the Antique Automobile Club of America. That's what that is. And we put the engine in the sun so you can see that. Wow. Well, you can see why the judging did this all correct. Yeah, everything's got the correct tags. Just looks fantastic. I'm gonna actually turn this around so you can read. I'll show you that back like so. How do you find, like? What were the challenging parts to this car, or did it all come this way? No, this car when I got it was built. The factory specs, right down to the factory carburetors. So, so you All bought this one done? I bought this car completely done. Yeah. Do you recommend that to people? I'm going to come this I, I do. I do. But you have to have an expert. If you're getting into the hobby, always have an expert look at a car before you buy it. Because so many people get burned. And, you, and you know, a car like this is not cheap. So yeah. if it's not done right, you spend a lot of money. You just burned a hole in your pocket. Okay. You can see that P tag there. And all the proper pieces there. You can see underneath the hood. The four Venturi premium fuel. Uh, yeah, let's fire it up, shall we? Wow, is that quiet, Dennis, or what? Car's a great car. Great car. Let me just listen to it idle for a second. Can you step on the brakes for a minute? All right, let me listen to it idle. Boy, is this quiet. Date coated factory mufflers, as you oh, said. Wow. Go ahead, give it a rev. <laughs> it got a little of that carbon on it. Yeah. Same. Well, Dennis, I think we uh, need to take this one for a ride. Okay, drop the hood. So I'm here with Dennis and we're taking a ride in, well, pretty much a perfect day in the Fairlane GTA. And uh, you don't take this one out too often. No. So no, this is pretty much a trailer queen. So this is a real this is a real special moment for you too then. Oh yes. Yeah, this is good stuff. And you shared that this one's won all of its all of its awards, so to speak, and it's done a great job with that. Yeah, it's won a lot, a lot of awards. How does it feel driving? Oh, it's smooth. It's just, <laughs> just a super nice smooth car. It's like a, a perfect ride. I'll just let people enjoy a little of this with us. You can see how smooth it is. Yeah. It's a sweetheart. We can hear what that 390 that sucks it down nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was about a gallon and a half right yeah. there. Well, <laughs> the one thing about these old cars, yeah. you got to give a lot of room to stop. Because you can't stop these on a dime like the new ones. Yeah. 
So right. You're going to notice I'll back way off. You know it does have power brakes. It's still got drum brakes. It's still drums. Got drums at it. Yeah. Now, on the Mustangs, they put disc on the high-performance Mustangs, but not on the Fairlane. Which is interesting, right? Because it it's is. such a heavy car. I would think car. that they, they would have done that. While I'm in the car, I'm noticing, is that the seatbelt warning light? That is correct. And it's on because we don't have our seatbelts on. Put that horn one more time. I'm chilling out in the back. Well, Dennis, what a treat to bring the car out that really even you don't bring out and to hang out with you on the channel. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, hearing a little of that 390. And uh, I love the wood wheel, too, on that one. Yeah, that was an option. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being on my car story and thanks for being a part of the channel. Okay. Thank you, Lou.